Hi, I'm Nelson, and this is the Saddles on IAOTS and General English Training. In this video, we are going to look at the past perfect. This tense expresses an activity that was complete before another activity in the past. It takes place in the past. Two activities happen one after the other. The one which happens first takes the past perfect and the next one takes the past simple. We are going to look at different examples shortly. In the past perfect, we use had plus the past participle. For example, Ali arrived at 9 o'clock, that is past simple. Sarah left at 8 o'clock, that's past simple. Number one, Sarah had already left when Ali arrived. That is the past perfect. Two activities happened. One, Sarah leaving happened before. So Sarah had already left when Ali arrived. So the word when is very important when you are using the past perfect because there are two activities. So the word when helps you to connect the two activities. The activity which happened first takes the past perfect. Then the next one takes the past simple. Number two, by the time Ali arrived, Sarah had already left. Now you can use when or you can use by the time. Now these two words help you to make a meaningful sentence in the past perfect. Past perfect is used in indirect speech. The past simple changes to the past perfect. For example, I went home. In direct speech, we say, Sarah told Ali that she had gone home. Let's look at some new words here. A group of flowers is called number one, bouquet. The T is silent, bouquet. Number two, a reception. A reception is a party. After the wedding, usually the bride and the groom, they invite their guests to a party. That party is what you call a reception. The woman on the wedding day is the bride and the man is the groom. Read the passage. Read the passage carefully and notice the time. At 6.45, Ali arrived at the reception. By the time he arrived, when he arrived, what had happened? Five things had happened. What are they? So you begin, by the time he arrived, then you add it, you write the sentences. If you do that, you will be practicing the past perfect. Have you ever arrived late at a reception, a meeting, or a class? What had happened before you arrived? You can write some sentences. Of course, you will be using the past perfect. Another example, I went to a game yesterday because I hadn't gone to a game in a long time. The contraction hadn't, had not. Hadn't is a contraction of had not. I, we are using the negative, the negative of the past perfect. Now follow the example and you try this exercise. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Follow the example and you try this. You end with in a long time. Study this table very well because we are going to use it to practice our past perfect. Frida's boss, Tom, arrived at one. What had she already done and what hadn't she done yet? I want you to see that the word yet is used with a negative. Hadn't already is used with a positive. Practice the past perfect. By answering these questions, you are practicing the past perfect.